Yo, what's good? Jermon Charlo just knocked out, knocked out cold. Hugo Centeno in the second round. Charlo, man, the Charlos are bad, bad man, man. <laughs> they don't fuck around at all. And I said after last fight when Charlo knocked out Lubin, I, I've said it before. I said it a million times. I can't tell the difference, man. But they're both bad. Gu- they're both bad guys. They're both bad hombres, as our president would say. Not all of our presidents, but most of our most people watching are from the U.S. So that's why I say that. But man, Charlo knocked out Centeno bad, and a lot of you always complain that I don't have any footage. Well, look at that. Let me show you that again. This right, and then the right level. Ah. Nasty, nasty guys. <sighs> um, Centeno didn't get up from that. At Showtime, I swear, if you put a copyright on this video for me showing this grainy ass footage for my phone, I. God, you some sometimes, but <laughs> sometimes, uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, that's another that's another story. I'm not even gonna say the time I got a strike because of Golden Boy, but hey, <laughs> excuse me, goes to show that they're watching, they're watching our videos, even insignificant little channels like mine. But Charlo made a statement. Yes, he fought a guy that's not on his level. But what do you do to bums? I'm not calling Centeno a bum, but what do you do when a guy is a bum compared to you? When he's not on your level? You send him to hell. Which is what Golovkin did when he was coming up. And which is what Charlo did when he was coming up. Speaking of Golovkin, Charlo called him out. He said, G, 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 let's fight. Triple G, I don't care. Let's do it. And Jim Gray, Gray, Jim Gray asked him, like, what are you going to do about the promotional issues? A fighter don't care about that, man. They just want the fight. He said, let them figure it out. I'm the mandatory. He's the mandatory. So, I like that fight, man. I like that fight. Or someone suggested um, Charlo Murata. That's mouth-watering as well. So, or Danny J. Let's get him Let's get him a live dog in the middleweight division. Let's. I, I love Charlo versus Jacob's fight. I think that's a very good fight. Of course, Charlo Golovkin. Charlo Canelo, Charlo Morata. Let's give him a live dog in the middleweight division, man. This should this should have been the main event. Charlo should have been the main event. He's a future star in the making. He talks shit. He has very good personality. They both do. They both have great energy. They're just oh, they're so pumped all the time. They're ready to fight. They're ready to hurt somebody. And they put on exciting fights. They're must-watch TV. Not like that clown in the main event getting paid a million dollars. Please, man. What a joke. What a joke. The, the problem. He's not a problem to himself. Charlo's a problem for the middleweight division. Let's make these fights. I don't care about the promotional issues. I don't care who your advisor is or your promoter. Let's make these fights happen. Preferably in a perfect world, I would want him to fight Jacobs in July, August, August, let's say, and Golovkin in December. But it's boxing, so we might get one of those, we might get none of those. If we could get one of those, I'd want a Jacobs fight because it looks like we'll probably get the the Canelo-Golovkin rematch, but. I'm excited. I'm excited for the middleweight division, man. Let's do it. Don't let Canelo hold the division hostage. Fight and make your claim as king for the middleweight division. Oh, man. Th- this is exciting. This is exciting, man. Ah, thanks, everybody, for watching. Who should Charlo fight next? Who does he beat? Who could beat him? Who beats Charlo in the middleweight division? Thanks for watching. Peace.